A Williamsburg woman remains in the Whitley County Jail this evening. Court records indicate that 22-year-old Donetta Bell, originally from Jellicoe, was officially charged with reckless homicide and related charges in the death of a Campbell County man. Bell faces several charges from a July 31st single car crash on U.S. Highway 25W about five minutes north of Jellicoe. That killed 45-year-old John Faulkner of Duff. Police say Bell was the driver of Faulkner's Mercury Grand Marquis that was in the crash. According to the Whitley County Clerk's Office, Bell's preliminary hearing was waived to the grand jury. She entered a not guilty plea. The accident report outlines that the Mercury was northbound when the driver attempted to pass a slower moving vehicle. For whatever reason, the Mercury went out of control, veered off the left side of the road, slammed into a pine tree, and then dropped down an embankment. Faulkner died at the scene while Bell was seen leaving the crash site in another vehicle. Bell went to the home of a friend where an ambulance was called to take her to the Jellicoe Community Hospital. Campbell County Sheriff's deputies located Bell in treatment at the hospital where she waived extradition and was taken to the Whitley County Jail on August 1st. Jail tracker records indicate that Bell has twice before been arrested for fleeing the scene of an accident and failing to render aid or assistance. Her bond remains the same at $250,000 cash with an ankle bracelet. Bell's next court appearance is set for September the 16th. A Speedwell woman called 911 Friday morning claiming there was a home invasion in progress at her home. Reports from the Campbell County Sheriff's Office outline that 19-year-old Jessica Shown phoned 911 saying someone was trying to get in after her. She went on to say that she locked herself in the bathroom and that someone was in her house on Flat Hollow Road. Responding deputies were met with the chemical odor commonly associated with meth labs and Shown, who by then was sitting on the front walk Shown told deputies that the home invaders left just before they arrived. After finding three one-pot meth labs, deputies concluded Shown was in the tweaking state of meth use. During tweaking, <clears throat> the abuser sometimes sees and hears things that no one else can. The landlord told deputies that she had not seen anyone around. Shown's husband, 34-year-old Donald Bradley Shown, was also in the house. Both Showns are charged with promotion of meth manufacture. It's a busy day of meetings. First, County Mayor William Baird requested a special call meeting of the Animal Control Board today at 4.30. That's set for the courthouse at Jacksboro where animal shelter issues and regulations are being discussed. Then there are workshops for the county commission when budget and finance meets at 5 o'clock followed by the commission workshop at 6. Both meetings are also held at the courthouse. Caraval City Council will also meet this evening at 7 o'clock. A La Follette landmark is on the auction block. The building that served as the La Follette Post Office for more than 75 years is soon to have a new owner. Located in the heart of La Follette, the building was constructed in 1936, sits on a fourth of an acre piece of land, and is just shy of being 5,000 square feet. An online government auction for the building and land began August 7th with an opening bid of $25,000.
as of our time today, the current bid, the seventh, is $82,001. Last year, La Follette City Council talked about the possibilities of buying the building. However, City Administrator Billy Russell tells WLAF that the city is not one of the bidders. The online auction ends Tuesday at 5.34 in the a.m. Today marks the first full day of school for the 2013-14 school year. It'll take a few days for most, if not all, of us to get back into the swing of seeing school buses and youngsters everywhere. Those school zones slow down, also resume today at Valley View School, La Follette Elementary, La Follette Middle, the High School, and Jacksboro Middle School. And heavy rainfall and nuisance flooding make up our weather this evening. Big Josh has all the soggy details coming up in full weather, which includes a stormy outlook for tomorrow. That's a look at our news. Time now to come right back and have a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. Stand by. And it looks like 19 people were arrested and booked into the Campbell County Jail over the weekend. Lisa Barnes, age 45, of South 4th Street in La Follette, for violation of probation. 29-year-old Ashley Dawn Bullock of Queener Road in Jacksboro for public intoxication and violation of the seatbelt law. Michael Jeremy Burge, age 20, of Davis Road, La Follette, for driving while suspended and violation of the Tennessee financial law. 51-year-old Billy Ray Cox of East Kentucky Avenue, La Follette, for driving on a revoked or suspended license, second offense, and violation of the Tennessee financial law. Joshua Paul Hicks, 31, of Reed Lane in Jacksboro, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. 36-year-old Margaret Ann Hicks of South Main Street in Jellico on a KPS bench warrant. Michelle Imogene Johnson, age 30, of North Indiana Avenue, La Folly, on a KPS bench warrant. 29-year-old Jada L. Justice of North 21st Street, La Folly, for serving 48 hours on the weekend. Anthony William Kyle, Jr., 27 of Sunshine Circle, La Follette, driving while revoked, violation of the registration law, and violation of the Tennessee financial law. 30-year-old Patrick Neal Matlock of West Hill Street, La Follette, was picked up and held for another agency. Mark H. Owens, 32 of Lake City Highway, on Acapius. 29-year-old Michael Dwayne Owens of Red Cedar Road, La Follette, for no driver's license and theft of property under $500. David E. Pierce, 44, of Ball Hill Lane, La Follette, DUI, driving while revoked, violation of the registration law, and leaving the scene of an accident. Donald Bradley Shown, 34, of Flat Hollow Road in Speedwell, for promotion of meth manufacture. 19-year-old Jessica Shown of Flat Hollow Road Speedwell for promotion of meth manufacture. 49-year-old Robert Ray Smith of Park Lane in Andersonville on a KPS bench warrant. Jennifer Snodderly, age 30, of East Ash Street, La Follette, for theft of property under $500. 29-year-old Dustin Lee Spradlin, of Glade Springs Road, La Follette, on a KPS bench warrant, and last on the report today, Jackie Ray Williamson, 27, of Tyson Lane, La Follette, for violation of probation. And that's a look at our news for this Monday evening. Stay tuned. we got a lot coming your way on the radio and the TV and the web throughout the evening, so you stay around, and I'll be back with you again tomorrow evening. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. this is your birthday song. Oh, oh, oh. celebration all night long. Oh, oh, oh. May all your 
Hey, Big Josh with you on this Monday afternoon looking at our birthdays and anniversaries. Our birthday and anniversary club brought to you by your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli located in the Food Line Shopping Center. Today's birthdays, uh, Daniel Terry is celebrating today. Happy birthday, Daniel. And Debbie Hicks is having a birthday today. Happy birthday to Debbie. And Macy Cantrell is 15 years old today. Happy birthday to you, Macy. Now, Saturday, Opal Oric, Miss Opal, turned 86. Happy belated birthday to you, Miss Oric. And uh, Ashley Haas was six years old. Happy belated birthday to you, Ashley. And yesterday, Francis Campbell turned 69. Happy birthday to you, Francis, and we hope all of you had a great day and are having a great day. Our anniversary is looking back on the 10th, Saturday, Randy and Melissa Baird celebrated. Happy anniversary to Melissa and Randy. Chester and Brenda Barlow, 50 years. Happy anniversary, Brenda and Chester. And 56 years uh, was what uh, Greta and Ned celebrated. Now, that was yesterday. Happy anniversary to you all. We hope all of you had a great day and are having a great day, okay? But if you're celebrating your birthday or anniversary today, make sure you call and give it to Bunny so we can have it on our list. Will you do that? Because that's the only way that you can qualify to win a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli located in the Food Line Shopping Center. Hey, see you tomorrow, good Lord willing.